Hey, welcome back, friends and new friends. Jules, also known as Jamie here. We're talking about growing Black Beauty eggplant. Here's a little pick for you. We've grown this forever. Uh, we will grow other types, but the reason we grow bleh, the reason we grow the Black Beauty is because of that. You got a shot at that. Um, they don't have to be that big, but you want them palm size and glossy. That's when they're ready. Let's get right to the footage. So there it is. That is a mature uh, Black Beauty eggplant. And we've been growing these so long, I just couldn't even tell you. Uh, it's just what we do. We may add other eggplants, but we always grow this. You can see some viral action, little pinholes. That's from flea beetles. Uh, there are actually six fruits in development and we've picked two already so that's eight and then there are at least eight healthy flower buds um, I seriously doubt we'll get 16 off of one plant but hey baby making a video but um, eight's pretty good and we'll talk about a little recipe here when we get back to the table um, but first let's talk about how we grew it so it started it from seed and um, you can see these little four by four holes in the concrete blocks so the plant is actually in a potty mix down there however the bottom is exposed to the ground which is uh, pretty much heavy clay so there's plenty of micronutrients and the macronutrients um, I could hit it with some nitrogen if I wanted to but generally once I get it up I quit feeding it and uh, let mother nature take its course including the pest and whatnot uh, as long as it's not you know taking the plan out I'm not really worried about it um, I do keep it watered you'll notice I have gaps beside planting so I water the base of the plant, the crown, and then I water beside it deeply. And I'll also run water here on my ground cover on both sides because it'll seep through. Um, stands up nice and tall. That's about four foot, I guess. Yeah, maybe even five at the very top. Um, well, let's go back to the table and I can tell you what else you could do with this fantastic eggplant. Well, there you go. It's as easy as that. Um, we love this particular plant. Uh, you get it from burpee.com. I'm pretty sure they developed it. Now it's considered heirloom. Uh, they also have a Black Beauty Zucchini, which is pretty good. Um, but anyway, what can you do with this? We like to take this every once in a while and make vegetarian lasagna. Use this as a meat substitute. Then you can use your own tomatoes, garlic, and grab your oregano. You should be growing oregano anyway. And um, if you want it to jack up the protein, you can even sneak in some cow peas. And then if you wanted to go super duper, use cabbage leaves instead of lasagna noodles and uh, pretty much have a vegetarian meatless meal there. Of course, you know, you gotta have cheese. Um, for that, we'd probably use feta, maybe goat cheese, but probably feta or fake mozzarella, something like that. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have regular cheese <clears throat> but this one that's probably enough for the casserole uh, about half the size is usually what you're looking for so you know two regular size eggplants should make a casserole that would feed four people and it's really good once you get used to it um, if you don't like it at first you will get used to it uh, very tasty and it's so pretty and shiny <laughs> so if you watch this far please consider subscribing Drop comments down there. Uh, do you have a favorite eggplant that you grow? Or do you even grow eggplant? Um, and hopefully I can convince you to grow it. This thing's really cool. Three, two, one. Peace, y'all.